what is special about higher ground? What about that allows you guys to like <laughs> prepare for this? Thing? Higher ground is definitely an interesting experience. It's, a, it's definitely an experience. A special experience. It's uh, the place that never rains. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, um, I feel like it's a cool experience to be out there um, because like we're just around each other 24 seven. And it's just football, that's all it is. It's two, three weeks of grinding. Um, and I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it this year. I've grown to love it. And Higher Ground is unique, man. For one, I, I'll say the food's really good out there. They take really good care of us. And it just has like an old football. I mean, you see like the old football movies where they go out to camp. That's what the feeling is, man. It's nothing but football. You eat, breathe, and sleep football. I mean, the best way I can describe it is it's like Boy Scout camp, but with football pads. It's as simple as that. Bunk beds, the log cabins, the mess hall, all that, man. It's but we make the most of it when we're out there. I mean, we're going to work hard, but at the same time, we're just going to enjoy each other. Uh, just because of the history we've had there. And I mean, we, we've produced some great teams through, through higher ground. Typical, you know, higher ground room. Dio, jump on the bed. This is my crib. This is where the magic happens, as I like to say. <laughs> Let's see. Got to have the AC down to 61. A little stiff. Yeah. Ain't much, but it's on work. Yeah. Got double chair, bro. We got some slides. You can do like a fashion show for us if okay, you want. Okay, we got some slides. Got some new uh, workout shoes, all black. Looking good. Nice little long sleeve. You like it, Will? Is that a new bucket hat? No, I've had this one for a while. <laughs> it's in the bag. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> what a great show. Better get out my zone and out my way. Out my way. Head harder than some stone and I won't break. I won't break. Hard hats, all right. You good? I got my playoff phone. Play hard hats, all right. All right. Welcome to Higher Ground, fellas. Yeah. Real brief tonight, okay? After this, obviously, we'll, we'll, we'll break up and let you go see your coaches, okay? Whether they'll have unit meetings real quick. Just want to make sure we got the routine down. All right, I'm gonna give you the schedule and I'm gonna go over one sheet. That's it, okay? But I'm just going to pull open to, to the first page that says, just be us. Now, there's some gra grammatical and some, some typo errors in there a little bit, but that's because I'm not an English major, okay? But I just want to make sure more than anything, this is what I wanted to say just to read out on day one, just to make sure we're all reminded, okay? Every year is a new year. You guys know that, all right? It's about just being us. We deserve nothing, okay? We earn everything. I wake up every morning and I have to remind myself of that. I deserve nothing, man. Go earn whatever it is the hell that you want, all right? Go earn whatever it is that you want. With all the success you have created for us as a team and individuals, we can't forget where we've come from and how we've gotten here. Now we must make sure everyone understands how real the fight is inside all of us who went through the transformation of culture. This camp isn't about every individual. This isn't what's best for me. Every son in this room, whether you're a sixth year guy, you're the starting center, you're the starting defensive end that's played for three years, everybody's 
is going to have tough times. Everybody's going to struggle. Everybody's going to have challenges mentally. That's what we're supposed to do, all right? That's what we're supposed to do. Older guys, be the example to the younger guys of how we do things, all right? How we do things. Start us off on the right foot. That means creating a routine, okay, from the morning and everything of how we're going to do it, all right? So embrace what it is that we will do over this time, okay? Make sure you understand that this is, the ne this is a necessity, okay, to do what we want to do and to get where we want to be. All right, individual meetings, uh, obviously tomorrow morning, everybody down by 7.30. Let's go, win on three, one, two, three. What did you personally learn from those guys that have left in terms of what it takes to be a voice in the locker room or an example on the field for you? Um, I say I learned the most from Kobe Bryant because um, he was a big on like speaking, making us, getting us ready for the games and stuff. Um, so hey, I would just say I need to be like more vocal leader. I've learned a lot, and then especially, you know, Desmond Ritter 9, you know, he was one of the main guys, leaders over the past four or five years. I've been playing with those guys for so long and such, and so used to them being next to me on the field. So that's also a challenge this year, you know. Everybody has to step up and continue to be that leader like Des was, that leader like AP was, um, and everyone's continuing to push forward to be that guy. You know, it's just, uh, it's not just one guy or a handful of guys who's leading. A lot of different guys, seniors, young guys, anyone on this team can be a leader. It's everybody's job to bring on the next guy and make sure you're ready to go come week one, September 3rd. Well, camp is a, is a big time for that, but obviously uh, I think Wilson Huber <clears throat> is, is, a, is a big part of that. I think that obviously everybody respects him and, and how he's done his work, but to see from where he came from I think is, is so big in his leadership role and Jabari is the same way. To me, sometimes that kind of leadership that has worked their way from the bottom up um, can be even stronger than, than, than a guy like Dez who, you know, as a freshman was thru thrust into that leadership role. And Trey Tucker's another one, probably offensively, that, you know, is going to be cast into a, an, into a different light. He has the utmost respect of everybody in the, in the team and in the program. And, you know, I think there's just so many guys that are, that are more like that. Um, that are going to provide incredible leadership for us. But it all come down to work. It all come down to trusting and believing um, in what it is you're doing, the people that are around you. So I think that those kinds of things are far greater than even what a coach can teach you. Oh man, that's a good thing. Like, yeah, we, we lost a lot of tremendous leaders, but um, we, have, we have a lot of guys. I mean, to name a few, we have Wilson Huber, who's going to be a rock of a decent, Jabari Taylor, um, Josh Riley, LT. You know, both of the quarterbacks are leaders. Whoever's, it doesn't matter, both of them will still be leaders. Um, you got Malik Van, you got uh, Javon Hicks, obviously he's a leader of safety, he's been starting over there for three years now. Um, Arquan Bush is another guy that, that's really, you know what I mean? And, and, and I'm gonna put them all in a group as one, our whole offensive line, man. So it, we definitely got a lot of leadership back that's, that's gonna be important this year. So, you know, this is real, this is, this is what's gotta be done. This is how we get to where we're trying to go. Not a rebuilding year, it's definitely a reloading year. I just think there's a lot of new faces. I think people are so used to seeing the Desmond Ritters, Kobe Bryant. They don't see, you know, what the work we put in, the guys that we have. They see, you know, Desmond Ritter's leaving, Cobes leaving, Sauce is leaving. It definitely motivates us to be better because everybody talk about since those two corners are gone, like what are we gonna do? We just reloading. If life's a game of inches, be intentional and move with intentions. No, I'm not pretentious. I'm using common sense, it's a fact. We're just reloading. We've been at the bullets. Rebuilding, we're not rebuilding. Uh, this is what we do. Uh, we're back for more. Young guys, old guys, um, guys who haven't had many snaps yet. Within our locker room right now, we still have a lot of playmakers. You say it's intensity, but I call it passion. Parentheses, it's what drives me through the madness. Put the work in, don't believe in free passes. I'm not just trying to win. Look, I'm trying to smash this. I'm the guru, master technician, faster because I'm we, we see the best out there every day and it's awesome having that competition each and every day. Uh, lining up against some of the best defensive linemen in the country. If life's a game of inches, be intentional and move with intention.
intentions. No, I'm not pretentious. I'm using common sense. It's a fact, a fact that I'm getting back to business. It's time to win, time to get this. Took some time off, now my grind is relentless. Cause you about to witness. Now, that Des always talked about <clears throat> um, leaving this place better than, you know, he found it. And I think he did a really good job of that. And I think he left us with something that's, um, you know, bigger than just having a good quarterback for five years. The idea is just be us. And, and who we are is going to be good enough. Next week on Let It Fly. Um, talk about the, the quarterback battle. Yeah. Thank you.